From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Happy Tuesday evening. I'm student meteorologist Adrian Mastrangelo here. The Commonwealth has been seeing multiple snow, sleet, rain, ice events in the past few weeks, and this week is no exception to that, with yesterday's storm and another storm coming on Thursday. Now, if we take a look here at our four webcams here in the State College area, we can see those clouds are starting to depart our region after some snow showers earlier. Then if we take a look here at Pittsburgh, we have cloud cover as well as Wilkes-Barre and Williamsburg, and that's been the majority of the day here throughout the Commonwealth with that westerly flow. So if we do take a look here at another webcam here in State College, you can see we're sitting in there at 27 degrees. Those cloudy skies have been off and on throughout the day with some passing snow showers. Not much in the way of accumulation, but definitely enough to keep the flakes flying out there. So currently it is 27 degrees. It feels a lot colder than that, though, with that westerly wind sitting in there at 21 miles per hour. The visibility also 3 miles, so you do have some decent visibility for the cloud cover today. Dew point sitting in there at 21 degrees. But if we take a look across the entire state of Pennsylvania, there is a very large temperature gradient. Erie sitting in there at 21 in the northwest corner, but then Philadelphia almost at 50 degrees currently. So that westerly flow will be influencing our temperatures into tonight, keeping us on the cooler side. So if we take a look at the feels like temperatures across the state, Erie, Franklin, Dubois, Pittsburgh, Johnston, you guys are all sitting in the single digits currently, while easterly portions of the state are all hovering around freezing, and then Philadelphia is just in another world of their own down there at 42 degrees. If you take a look at the temperatures nationwide now, you can see that big dip in the jet stream, Bismarck, Omaha, International Falls, all experiencing some very cold weather, as is Texas, and they've been getting slammed by multiple storms as well. Now, if we take a look at the current radar here in the State College area, you can see that snowfall making its way through our area. Uh, Pittsburgh, you've been getting into it as well, as much, much, many areas to our north and west have been getting into that snowfall today. Not much in the way of accumulation. We'll look till it's Thursday where we can see this storm system down by Dallas. You can see it's just in the makings right now. We'll be making its way into our area Thursday during the day in the wee hours of the morning. Doesn't look like much now, but it'll definitely be packing a punch here in the Commonwealth. So due to that in incoming snowstorm, you can see the State College area in Center County is under a winter storm watch, as is many portions of the Commonwealth Harrisburg, Williamsport, Scranton, Allentown, Philly, major cities will be experiencing some treacherous travel come Thursday. Areas to our north and west will not be getting as much snowfall, therefore they are not included in the winter storm watch. So if we take a look at our future weather now, we can see the start of that precipitation. Harrisburg getting into it the wee hours of Thursday, 3.30 a.m. the snow starts, and then it's going to ramp up very high snowfall rates into Thursday afternoon and evening. The Thursday evening commute is looking like a no-go. If you can stay off the roads, that would be heavily advised as roads will be treacherous. So if we continue now into Friday, you can see that westerly flow will make it colder. The storm system will look to depart its way Friday morning in the wee hours as well. There will be some snow showers left over, especially in the highlands of northwest Pennsylvania, typical places that get that northwesterly flow and that uh, Lake Erie lake effect snowfall. But it looks like all the snow will just about be done by Sunday morning. Saturday's looking nice. Sunday definitely looking like the pick of the weekend. So if we take a look now at tonight, it'll be, it'll be very cold as compared to the past couple nights. Mostly cloudy though. That wind will look to die down. It'll stay from the west from 7 to 15 miles per hour. And then into tomorrow, we will look to see that wind almost completely die down, coming from the west still from 0 to 5 miles per hour will be calm at times. It'll be much nicer out, mostly sunny, in the high of 27, a little bit below average, but we'll take it given the circumstances we've had in the past few weeks. Now if we take a look at our 7-day forecast here, Tomorrow, that mostly sunny weather will be very nice. We're staying relatively cool through Saturday with that major snowstorm we're tracking on Thursday. Still a lot of uncertainty. Still a couple days out. 
Friday, it's looking like that storm will end in the morning, and then we're going to be clearing out a little bit on Saturday. Some lake effect snow bands and some mountain enhanced snowfall will be possible on Saturday. Sunday is looking like the pick of the week. It'll be partly sunny with a few clouds sticking around, but definitely warmer. And we will look to be even warmer into Monday and Tuesday of next week with another chance precipitation to begin the work week. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Adrian Mastrangelo for CNET. Have a great day.